What's up guys, welcome back to Star Citizen. I'm in front of me Aegis Avenger Titan of course and um, I'm just going to show you a um, well some box missions. Now doesn't sound as boring as you might think because um, if you're new to the game like me you might not know about these but the personal missions if I jump into my contracts um, now I didn't know or oh, sorry, I assumed that uh, all personal missions gave you a crime stat. I thought that was how you got the um, you know the legal things going and things like that. But actually, some of them don't give you crime stats, and they're just from like other outposts that are not UEE. I guess I'm not entirely sure how it works. But anyway, in your personal contracts, you'll get things sent to you that aren't criminal as well. So uh, make sure you check them out. But in particular. Um, there's some delivery missions that will give you, like this one in front of me, 15.3k. Um, now, I found two of them that uh, they normally spawn within Lawville and they're from the same location to the same destination. So you can get just over 30k super quick with one trip. And a uh, shout out to Jaxo Steel from the Vanguard that showed me this. Um, I had no idea about it and that's also who explained to me um, about the personal missions and how they worked. So uh, a big shout out to him for that. And um, the reason I'm using the Avenger Titan um, is because it's a great starter ship and I just like to use it for things like this to show you why it's kind of worth the money if you're thinking about buying the game. I've said before you're actually better off if you're thinking about buying Star Citizen. Um, getting one of the £45 um, packages or $45 packages with either the Aurora or the Mustang. Uh, my preference is the Mustang, but the Aurora is good as well. But have one of them and if you get that check the game out, see if you enjoy it, and if you do like the game, um, it's definitely worth paying an extra um, few quid and upgrade into the Avenger Titan, in my opinion. Now, you can get the Avenger Titan pretty quick in game anyway, um, but I think it's worth the extra few quid, and um, it allows you to do everything. It's a bit tankier and got a bit more firepower than the Mustang and the Aurora, and it has the uh, cargo bay on the back of it so makes it a great all-round ship so in my opinion that's what I'd do anyway in my opinion get the base pack if you enjoy it upgrade some the uh, Avenger Titan um, I've just become a um, subscriber to the game so I've actually just got the um, the uh, Cutlass Red is the the free subscriber ship for the month which is pretty cool and um, yeah but like I said I wanted to use the Avenger just to demonstrate what's going on with it. Let's get up into space. So we're going to go and do the missions. I'm up in space now. As you can see there, lovely view. So I'll jump back into here and into the contracts and like I said earlier, I've got the missions ready and I've got two of them which will take me to um, pick up a package from Reclamation and Disposal here on Hurston and then fly them to Lyria to the Orphanage. And both of these missions are the same pickup point and same destination. And what's cool about these two is they will respawn. So um, if you go to Lawville and they're not there, just wait a few minutes, see if they appear in your personal um, contract page. If they're not there, you could always um, jump out of the server and jump back into a new one and see if they'll spawn like that. But just give it a few minutes. These appeared straight away when I've logged in for me, just before I started recording. And um, yeah, so when I've done this, if I fly back to Lawville, they might be there again. But you can just rinse and repeat these. Like I said, you might just have to wait a few minutes. But either way, you can get two of these to the same destination and with the same pickup point. So what we're going to do, we've got them tracked. It doesn't matter which one because we're going to the same place. And just roll over and have a look for the pickup point, which is there, 606 kilometers away. So now what I'm going to do is spool up my engine. And the reason I'm showing this, guys, if you've been around the verse for ages, obviously you'll know about this. This whole point is, like I said, I'm a new player, so the whole idea of the videos I do is to show my experience in Star Citizen 
and to show my journey and obviously hopefully people can learn from my mistakes for one thing and anything I learn I'll try and relay to people and hopefully it'll just be fun to follow my journey and see where I end up one day anyway so um, yeah that's the point of the video so bear with me if you already know about this but what we're going to do is we're going to locate a um, jump point somewhere in the region of that pickup point now unfortunately it's looking like I haven't really got anything over that way but we'll see what we can work with oh, actually this could work so it's off a little bit at an angle but it's going to take me over to that direction so we'll look, at, uh, we'll look onto Crusader and while that's doing that we will move the camera so I can see over there and hopefully this won't bug out there we go, quantum drive going and what I've got to do is when I get as far as I think I'm going to get with that point is press I to turn my engine off and I didn't know this and when um, Jaxo was showing me this I shot across the universe because I tried to hold B to cancel it I didn't know you have to turn your engine off so turn your engine off, press I, it will instantly cancel your quantum and um, you'll just be floating in space and then you turn your engine back on oh I double tapped it, there we go, online uh, make sure my views fixed again, press Z there we go, we're a little bit closer, and now hopefully, now obviously that didn't take me there, like I said, there was nothing to really align to that was going to take me directly over the top of the pickup point. So now I'm going to spool up again and see what else pops up. And again, we're not looking too lucky right now. This could work. So line that up separate my camera using Z so we can look at the pickup point hold B uh, cancel that and I also just got a chrome stack because as I jumped for some reason they wanted to search me that is a little bit annoying not gonna lie but I'll have to go and uh, fix that later so we jumped uh, to 259 kilometers close to it. Um, is that a sentence? I think it was. You know what I mean. We're a bit closer anyway. So now let's see what else we've got. And I think that actually will be pretty perfect. We jump to Ishmael. I think that's how you pronounce it. Jump. Get ready to cancel my engines. Like so. Yeah, 118. So I'm probably not going to get any close now, so that would do. That won't take long to get down there. And um, yeah, that's what you do. Now, the cool thing with this as a new player is this is kind of getting you used to being able to locate places. Not everywhere on a planet will have a jump point to it. So you'll need to find like landmarks and ways of finding and locating places that you want to get to later because some of these outposts will have like random missions that you won't get unless you visit them they might have things you want to trade um, and yeah there'll be no jump point so by doing this method with these package runs I think it's a great way to learn to do this quantum drive cancelling type deal whatever you want to call it and like I said once you'd learn a, um, you know like a landmark so you know there the, there's the pickup point if I wanted to come back here I could look for this um, look for this sort of markings here you see that it looks a bit like an upside down Y or something um, you know it, it stands out a little bit and I want to be to the right at the tip of it so if I ever come back and didn't have a marker I could look for that landmark um, you know from a little bit of a distance away or obviously try and learn on what side of the planet this is, you know, relative to like stations or other planets or things like that. And I could jump past it and cancel my engine when I'm roughly in this area. Um, so I think it's pretty cool for that kind of thing. But yeah, like I said, this is uh, how you do these package runs anyway. So I'm going to head down here. One more little tip I want to point out because I messed this up when I was with Jaxo yesterday. And... 
you, I sometimes try and rush to do things and I'll just dive down at a planet and um, hope that I can stop in time and sometimes I get it right and I stop um, within a sensible distance. Other times I'm going way too quick and I can't stop and I slam into the deck. The best thing to do is to approach at a sensible angle and just slowly come down, descend down into the atmosphere and try and level out as you go in. You know, just come down like this and then level out. And the worst case scenario then is you'll just fly past where you're trying to get to a little bit too quick and have to slow down, turn around and gently fly back to it. Instead of, like I quite often do, ending up in a big fiery fireball, fiery fireball, whatever, <laughs> a big heap of scrap anyway on the deck. Uh, we don't want that. So just take your time and descend nicely into the atmosphere and... Um, yeah, it's something you want to get into the habit of when you start. Just remember it's a simulation game and everything's trying to be as close as they can to realistic as far as like physics and things like that go. So just bear that in mind. Uh, but again, I, I'm just letting you know that I have messed this up many a time. And again, that's the point of the videos of, of what I'm doing is to try and show um, where I messed up and how I corrected it. And hopefully it will help other people and prevent them ever doing it or explaining how to get around it anyway. Right, we're nearly down. Hopefully I don't slam into the deck with this wind. I love the new wind feature, to be honest. Um, the new weather effects and things like that. It's um, definitely um, an added experience to the game, that's for sure. It makes things quite difficult sometimes, especially as a new player, but um, yeah, I like it. I think it's kind of cool. But we are nearly down here. Just get my landing gear down. I'm going to swap to the uh, third person view. Oh, fix my camera. And I think we're going to that building on the, uh, well, sort of in front of the nose of the ship right now. Uh, can I land in the middle here? Alright, so we're coming here and collect the first package. Get that. And I'll go put this in the Titan, and then we'll go and get the other one. Right, now to get the next one, I'm going to have to, or I think I have to, anyway, I'll do it anyway, just to be safe. But I'm pretty sure you have to uh, track the second box. Boom. And uh, that will allow you to pick up both. And now they're both going to the delivery drop-off over there, which you can see, which is on Lyria. And, um, yeah, cash in for 30k. Right, we're at Lyria, so there's the next uh, point we need to get to, the drop-off point. And uh, same as before. Let me just uh, throttle down a little bit. Not that it really matters, but it's a bit noisy. Um, so, yeah, same as before. Spool up. Look for somewhere, you know somewhere in the region where you want to go. Oh, this might work. So this might fling me all the way around the planet. And uh, I should then be able to stop where we need to. It's looking lovely that as long as that's not flown me into the floor that looks incredibly low <laughs> quick give me control back Quantum travel complete. there we go oh not too bad at all I think if I Cancelled it a little bit earlier. I could have got within 80 to 90 kilometers, but you know, anywhere around 100 is pretty cool, I think. So, um, this is a nice angle to come in at actually as well. What a nice view that is as well. Look at that. Stunning. And before we get down there, guys, just so we can see, look, I've got 8.6k. I know it's pitiful. I lost all my money. Not that I had very much. I had a hundred, just over 100k. I lost it in the. Um, just after the patch went live. I actually didn't lose it when the patch went live. I logged in, I played for a little bit, I was trying to buy something at a shop, and um, 
the shop stopped working it wasn't processing my order I went to another shop to see if it would work it wouldn't work so I logged out I logged back in and I lost all my cash so I don't know what happened but yeah I was a little bit gutted um, so yeah I've not got very much hence why I was doing these missions in the first place to get some money but yeah we've got um, I've forgotten already 8.6k so obviously should get just over 30k on top of that which I guess would be 38.6k my math is good so actually a bit more than that maybe my maths is terrible but um, we'll see oh I wasn't uh, paying attention and I've just sailed past uh, where I wanted to go but like I said earlier because I was already down at a decent level I just simply went past it rather than slamming into the floor like I've done many times before Oh, there it is. That looks like the front stairs, so we'll land here somewhere. There we go. Oh, bit of a bumpy landing, but it'll do. So yeah, we'll hand this one in, and um, then we'll have to swap missions. Um, okay, place. Oh, okay. So that's the first one complete. And shove that one up there if it will let me. Oh, I didn't swap contracts. Hang on. Got my box. Oh, and that just wants me to place it up here. Oh, this is cool. You've got to place it on a different shelf. There we go. Boom, there we go. That's both of them done. And there we go, another 15.3. There we go, 39.4. So, not bad. That's taken me uh, probably about 30 minutes. Um, I was a little bit slow, and, you know, I didn't get the alignments I needed straight away, so... If you, um, depending on what missions you were doing, etc., you know, you could get lucky. But the point of these two was that they're both together and we just got 30k for one trip, essentially. So that's really cool. And if I fly back to Lawville now, they might actually be there again and I could come straight back and do it again. So that's really cool. Massive shout out to Jaxo Steel for telling me about these missions and explaining how the uh, personal missions work. And, um, yeah, just in general for pointing me in the right direction. And if you guys um, are new to the game, or even if you're not, if you're looking for an organisation that do a lot of um, events or operations and things, then check the Vanguard out. There's a link in the description below to the website where you can look at all the information to do with the organisation. And there's also the application for uh, joining the org and links to the Discord and all that stuff. So go check that out. Um, I really highly recommend it. As a new player, I've learned so much being in Vanguard already in the last couple of weeks. And like I said, this mission was pointed out to me by Jaxo, who is in Vanguard. And there's a lot of people like him in there that will, are always willing to help you and um, take you out and do things, share ships with you, help you earn money, um, tell you any like little tips and tricks for making money or any other thing to do with the game. And um, yeah, it's like invaluable almost. And um, you'll see people online saying about lack of content and stuff in Star Citizen, which I don't believe there is, especially with 3.9's released a lot of new content and stuff. And uh, if you've been playing the game for a long time, obviously I, I guess then you might have that problem. But I think if you're in an organisation, and if you're a new player, especially if you're in an organisation, it opens up a lot more gameplay to you with the organised operations and um, big events and things like that that like people like Vanguard certainly set up. So yeah, check them out guys, see what you think, and um, yeah, if you join I'll see you in the Discord. I hope this helped someone, or you just enjoyed the video, one or the other, or both, I don't care. But either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and um, yeah, I'll see you next time.